Hey there Leo, this is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how your person feels about you, how they're currently feeling, how they see you, where your relationship is going, and how you feel about them as well. Okay, now remember that these um, emotions can be um, flip-flopped, so um, feel free to take a look at their sign as well, or flip the script. You know, um, this reading is timeless, so when you see it is when you're meant to receive it. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get some energy for Leo. Okay, for them we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay, for you we have fear. I realize that I am treat excuse me that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So you may be taking some kind of leap of faith, Leo. Um, there's some kind of outcome that you're really not sure of, but you're taking that leap anyway. Okay, so this may be some sort of new relationship. You know, this may be some sort of um, separation that you're going through. Um, with this freedom and this fear, you know, you may not have any contact with your person at the moment. You know, they may be off on a trip, off on some kind of job venture, or they may just live distances away, or you may be just taking a break. But I feel like there's some kind of situation here. Okay, let's get your person's energy. How does your person feel right now? about your relationship how do they feel okay your person feels like the empress how they feel about you is the eight of cups how they feel about your relationship is the ace of swords and how you feel about this situation is the nine of cups so i feel like you're very content at the moment and i feel like they're very content they're willing to grow and to you know, really nurture this situation. They feel like you're an empress energy, like you're very fertile for growth. They may be thinking about starting a family with you or thinking about, you know, um, creating children, you know. There may be something like that going on right now, you know. So if you're not looking to have any children right now, I think that maybe you should take precautions, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, your person is very content. You are very content. You feel like you have everything you need at this moment. Um, like they're everything that you've wanted in a person. Okay. Um, how they feel about you. They feel like you're very independent. You're very um, self-achieving. And you also may have a good job or good career, okay? But they feel like, you know, they feel like they're kind of on the back burner at times, Leo. Because they feel like, you know, you're, you're letting go of all these cups here. But you're holding that one cup. So they feel like you, you may be making them a priority sometimes. But they feel like, you know, sometimes they're put on the back burner like, you know, other things are more important. And I feel like they just really want to spend more time. They want to have more alone time with you. More, um, a more of a feeling of that they are a priority. Like they are first. Not like you have to schedule time for them. Okay, how they feel about your relationship, they feel like this relationship is going just like it's supposed to, but there's a lot of things that need to become clear. They feel like this may be a new journey that you're both going on. And I feel like, you know, the, it, it's like a new journey of becoming more clear on what each other's needs are. You know, they feel like this is a breakthrough moment. Like, you know, you're the person that they've been waiting for. You know, so they feel like this relationship is a blessing. You know, it's something created in um, 
I want to say in heaven. Yeah. So they see you as someone very special, as very giving, very nurturing. Someone who really goes for what they desire. Hmm. Beautiful energy here. Let's go ahead and clarify for this reading. With the Empress energy, we have the King of Swords. Wow, okay. With the Eight of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles. And with the Ace of Swords, we have the Star card. Okay, so I definitely feel like, you know, there's a lot of thinking going on here. There's a lot of feelings of, you know, maybe I'm not what they want. Maybe I'm not, you know, suited for this relationship. You know, I feel like, you know, your person is very deep in thought here. They feel like they may not be the one for you. Like, you know, you guys just don't match sometimes. But I feel like, you know, especially with this Eight of Cups and this Six of Pentacles, I feel like they want to be able to share more time with you. They want to be able to, you know, spend more time, um, have the time be more balanced, more equal, you know, this equal give and take, not feeling like, you know, they're, they're this one cup. And you have so many cups to look after. Okay. So they, they feel like they want to be a priority. They want you to fully understand the situation. And they may want to speak their truth to you. Okay. They may want to have you get a better understanding of where they're coming from. Because I feel like with this Ace of Swords energy and this Star energy. They are looking for more balance. They're looking to be, you know... To be recognized, to be noticed, to, you know, for you to see them as that special star, okay? As someone very special to them. And I feel like at times they may not feel that. They feel like they may be on the back burner here, okay? So I feel like they just want to be a priority. They want to share more with you, okay? So let's get an outcome, how is this relationship going for Leo? Give me an outcome, please. Change. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords. Okay. So, at the bottom we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, I feel like this relationship, I feel like you are going to be making a lot of changes to how you deal with each other. To how you kind of see each other, how you spend time. Um, I feel like, you know, you heard this person speak their truth and you are getting a full understanding of the situation. Things are becoming more clear and you want to be able to understand more. So you're taking more time out to really focus on your relationship, on the things that you want, on the things that you need. You want your relationship to be fully recovered and rejuvenated and I feel like you know things are you're hitting a turning point here Leo I feel like things are changing for you things are changing for the better it's moving forward okay so don't worry so much on the journey because your journey is going to lead you to your success you still have this nine of cups here so you are fully committed you are content you are happy you have everything that you need so just focus on your changes on this good fortune on this turning point okay so i'm sorry for my phone here so, Leo, let's get an angel number. What angel number do we have for Leo for this situation, please? What angel number do we have for Leo? What does Leo need to know? Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Persistence. Keep going. You have completed a task that is in alignment with your soul's journey. 
the divine is letting you know that it sees you and all that all of your persistence is paying off you are being acknowledged okay so let me read that again keep going you have completed a task that is in it alignment with your soul's journey the divine is letting you know that it sees you and all of your persistence is paying off you are being acknowledged okay your affirmation leo i take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey and i reap the rewards of my persistence Okay, so Spirit is letting you know to be persistent. Stick through your situation because you are going to be rewarded for your persistence in staying your course. Okay, there's a lot of good changes coming in for you. Okay, so Leo, I hope this helps out. If this reading resonates, please uh, like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have that March playlist up. Take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for love. You can also take a look at your person sign, if you know that. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.